The wife says to her husband, let's go out and have some fun tonight. The husband says, okay, but if you get home before I do, leave the hall light on. <laughs> yeah. That's a good one. I already told that one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was, it was funny then, too. Well, well, okay. The wife says to her husband, do you love me? The husband says, well, of course I do. If I didn't love you, we wouldn't have all this damn furniture. I mean, maybe there's no chemistry left between us, but <laughs> there's still at least archaeology. <laughs> <laughs> A woman was going through her husband's desk drawer and discovered three soybeans in an envelope containing $30 in cash. So she asked him about it. And the husband said, well, I have to confess, over the years, I haven't been completely faithful to you. But every time I cheated, I put a soybean in the drawer to remind myself. So where did the $30 come from? She asked. Well, when soybeans hit $10 a bushel, I decided to sell. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, a dying man once said, you know, honey, you've always been with me through all of my troubles, through all my bad times. You've been there. When I got fired, you were there. When my business went down the toilet, you were there. When I had the heart attack, you were there. And when we lost the house and then I got liver cancer, you were always by my side. You know something? What, dear? I think you're bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> Ma'am, I think your husband has had enough to drink. He just slid under the table. Hmm. No, my husband is the one who just walked in the door. Why did Dorothy get lost in Oz? Hmm. Well, she had three men giving her directions. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this woman sends her husband out to buy some escargot for a dinner party that night. Instead of going straight to the store, the husband decides to stop at the local bar. A man after my own heart. He has a few beers and then some more, and pretty soon he looks at his watch and he finds he's over an hour late for the dinner party. So he dashes to the store, picks up the escargot, and frantically drives home. When he walks in the door, he can hear his wife coming from the kitchen. So she takes the bag of snails and quickly throws them all over the floor. When his wife walks into the room, he says, come on guys, we're almost there. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, well, I tell you, you know, my wife has been great. In just three years of marriage, she's gotten me to stop drinking, stop smoking, taught me how to dress well, how to enjoy music and painting and fine literature, and how to cook gourmet meals, and how to have confidence in myself. So I'm getting a divorce. Frankly, she just isn't good enough for me. <laughs> Honey, would you like a BMW for your birthday? No, I don't think so. Well, how about a mink coat? No, thanks. How about a diamond necklace? No, I want a divorce. <gasps> oh, I wasn't planning on spending that much. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Johnson, I have reviewed this case carefully, and I've decided to give your wife $800 a week alimony. Well, that's very generous, Your Honor, and believe me, I'll try to help out a little myself now. And then. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, Your Honor. Yeah, I'll tell you what, judges, they waste your time and money and they lord it over you like God. Typical meatbags, all right. Honey. Wait, sorry. Honey, am I the first man you've ever made love with? Why does everyone ask me that? <laughs> <laughs> you know, for meatbags, sex is hereditary. 
If your parents didn't have it, chances are you won't either. <laughs> <laughs> okay, how do girls get minks? Mm. The Jeez. same way minks get minks. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Men are like fine wine. They all start out like grapes, and it's our job to stomp on them and keep them in the dark until they mature into something we'd like to have dinner with. No. <laughs> <laughs> all right, then. <laughs> Why do women have smaller feet than men? Well, it's easy, so that they can stay closer to the sink. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I wanted to be a flight attendant because it's a chance to meet, whoops. I wanted to be a flight attendant because it's a chance to meet men. Especially because they're all strapped down. That's a good flight attendant. What would you do if you caught another man with your husband? Well... Uh -huh. I guess I'd break her cane and send her back to whatever institution she is. <laughs> <laughs> My wife says, You know, that young couple next door is so sweet. Every morning when he leaves the house, he kisses her goodbye, and every evening when he comes home, brings her a dozen roses. Now, why can't you do that? And the husband says, oh, I don't even know her. No. <laughs> that works. <laughs> uh, excuse me. The name is Bond. May I have your number? <laughs> it's, in the phone. it's in the phone book, Mr. Bond. But I don't even know your name. Well, Mr. Bond, that's in the phone book, too. <laughs> <laughs> Haven't I seen you somewhere before? Yes, and that's why I don't go back there. <laughs> <laughs> hey, gorgeous, where have you been all my life? Well, for most of it, I wasn't even born yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. 